because a case of Ebola has been confirmed in Uganda. In the early hours of Wednesday morning, a five-year-old died in the province uh, in the country, seven hours from the capital, Kampala. Now, three, uh, m uh, three more cases have been recorded since, and it's looking increasingly likely that Ugandan nationals might not be allowed in Egypt after reports that have come through. Now, we spoke to Ugandan sports journalist Asha Komongisha, who confirmed the situation and mentioned that it will not affect the country's Afghan campaign in any way. It has been confirmed that there is an Ebola outbreak in Uganda. A five-year-old attended yesterday and was admitted at Buera Hospital, which is in a district called Kasese, seven hours from Kampala. And indeed, the five-year-old passed away today, unfortunately. Uh, three more cases have been confirmed by the Ministry of Health and the Minister Ruth Acheng has said that uh, they're deploying and trying to make sure that uh, they contain the situation. Three more people have been confirmed to have attained it and of course as always um, it's coming from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Whether it has an impact on AFCON, absolutely not. I mean, um, at least as far as I'm concerned, uh, one, the Uganda cranes are camping in Abu Dhabi, in uh, the United Arab Emirates, and um, you know, the people that I know at least that are going to travel to the AFCON uh, live mostly in the capital, in Kampala. And uh, because of that, to be honest, I would say it's, it would be an alarm or a false alarm uh, that Ebola is going to affect the AFCON. So to be honest, um, it's, it's really taking it out of hand if you say there's Ebola in Uganda, so Uganda should not play in the AFCON.